to work indoors today down at a warehouse. Um, company we work with that makes walk-in boxes and for our clean rooms and things like that. So I'm down here just prepping the units, getting them ready for the hot gas injection. Well, you can see in here, guys, we're getting them all prepped for the hot gas line here. Uh, we're using the Expolin electronic hot uh, bypass valve. So you're just going to come down and just braise this little uh, fitting on because we're going from half inch to five eighths here. I'm just going to leave this stubbed. When we get them to the job site, they'll be piped in. Give you a view from up top here. To install these, all you do, you got your discharge line here coming off your compressor. All you got to do is cut a T in down there and just come out into these valves. Um, I use Zoom Lock. Um, the customer here that these are being done for, they asked if these could be Zoom Lock because they think it'll be easier to change them out that way. I personally don't think so. I'd rather just cut the line and braise them. I think it would be easier, but Sometimes, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, here with the Zoom Lock tool, if you guys haven't used these or seen these, they are pretty cool. Comes in a nice kit, very expensive, but they work nice. It's real easy to do, just a lot of prep work. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video sometime on how to use a Zoom Lock tool and things like that. Um, I wanna get into a lot more, it's a little bit more explaining just about, about the hot gas and how we just set these up to go. Hopefully one day I'll be able to show you guys the evaporators inside these places. They're all going in lab settings where they're going to go. So hopefully I can show you everything. But you can see how everything has to be changed in here. We don't do this. I'm at the place that makes the boxes and does the controls. These are all the controls that have to go into this thing. These are all for safeties. This relays there. It goes down to a huge control panel. This place has their stuff monitored like crazy because it's going to be for pharmaceutical stuff in there so the parameters and the rules that they have are just nuts all the stuff you've got to have um, for these things it's unbelievable personally i think it creates more problems than anything but it is what it is just add this on to it too guys these are our suction transducers that are just going to go on these are just meant to sense suction pressure they're going to go into this valve going to screw into there like that and this valve is just going to go up here into the pipe in that hole there so, just going to be for monitoring. There's the hot gas valve in for this one. These are the bigger units. But, um, like I mentioned before in my other videos, guys, if you're soldering copper to brass like this, this is just a, this is just a little quarter inch stub in here. But you got to use um, silver solder with the white flux. The silver solder that looks like this, just like a wire with the white, uh, white brazen flux over here. You got to use that. Copper to brass, you gotta use the silver or it won't stick. So I just wanted to finish up by showing you this guys real quick. Um, this is what comes with the valve. Um, this is what the valves look like. This is a different style, but it's the same thing. This is what comes with it. Um, you saw the valve style that we were using. This is just another type, but they all work the same. This is pretty much, if this will focus the diagram we were going by, this is what I was trying to explain on my other um, hot gas video. You can see how it's tapped off the discharge line. That's what I had that T for, and it goes up into the distributor, and that's what brings um, the hot gas into your evaporator to warm it up so you can maintain a constant temp. Um, so this is just a little bit of a continuation about my other um, hot gas injection video. If you guys haven't checked that out, just go back a couple videos on my channel. You'll find it about hot gas injection. So. So I wanted to show you guys that diagram on this as well. These little pamphlets, these come with these valves. I actually read some of them, guys, because I can show you some good stuff. This is um, a different application here. You know, when you got these ones here, you know, this would be one that's the bypass to evaporator inlet without distributor. You know, it shows you all the different applications, how to do it. Like this here, you got your de-superheating de thermostatic expansion valve. And you're trying to de-superheat your compressor. You pull off that. Comes down to cool off your high side on your compressor or the head of your compressor. So all kinds of different, different applications for this stuff, guys. So try to read these. You might learn something. I've, I've thrown these away many a time over the years, but it's always good... Always good to either save them or read them because you never know, you just might learn something. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how I install those um, 
hot gas valves um, for the hot gas injection. Um, if you didn't see my other video, check that one out about the, you know, the systems running with the hot gas and everything. And hopefully one of these days I can get you guys some footage of the inside of these places, but it's very hard because these places are like locked down. So very strict rules, you know, trying to see in there and stuff. And if anyone's got questions about the zoom lock, if you want to see a video on that, I can try to get something together for you, how to use it, how to do it. Um, the reason those are zoom locked, as I mentioned in the video is because the customer where we're at, they're going to have their guys taking over this stuff eventually to maintain this equipment. So they wanted them zoom locked. They think it's easier to change. I don't know why it's way easier just to cut the pipe, put a new valve in with a couple couplings and just braise it up. But whatever we, you do what you're told sometimes, you know? So thanks again, guys. And, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I appreciate that. If not, guys, I'll put a link um, in the description. I'm at, on there as CSC Reefer and HVAC guy. I'm almost up to 1,000 followers on that, and I'm about to break that threshold. So I'm pretty pumped about that. It's been really cool. I only started that like back in like July. So all you guys, thanks for the support on this channel and on that. You guys are great, and I love hearing from you guys. Any questions, feel free to comment and ask. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.